Hey guys on YouTube, it's me, Neo Game Spark, and it's time for Vlog 16. Um, wow. 16 already, wow. It's kind of strange that I'm going higher and higher every vlog with these things. Um, so anyway, today's Saturday, May 9th, and, you know, I don't know what time it is now. It's like 11, close to 12, something, I don't know. By the time you see this, time will be like later. <laughs> Yeah, you guys know that I'm kind of psyched for the new Call of Duty World at War map pack. Um, yeah, I forgot to mention in my last video that they're adding 10 new achievements slash trophies on the game, so that's pretty cool. Hopefully they'll all be related to like zombies or multiplayer, because there aren't really a lot of multiplayer achievements in the original game. So, you know, can't wait for that coming out in June. Perfect end of the year gift. Well, end of the school year gift, yeah. Some of you may have noticed, but I recently changed the layout of my channel, like I changed the colors and stuff, and I changed like the info page to like what I'm gonna do, my upcoming videos and stuff, so those are the stuff you guys can look forward to. Yesterday I went out to Best Buy and I didn't really know what I was gonna buy, I didn't want to buy a game because I want to wait for more games to come out, like Prototype coming out in June. So you know, I had some money and I decided to pick this up, you know, being an anime fan, it's kind of strange I didn't pick this up already. Kind of strange. So anyway, it's Yu Yu Hakusho Season 1 Complete Box Set. Um, yeah, it has the entire Season 1, all 28 episodes in two discs. Um, it's not like a slipcase, it's like you actually have to pull it out. Let's see? Yeah, disc 1. Yeah, disc 2. Um, they're like... how many episodes? Like 14 episodes on each, so it all evens out. Um, they're basically like the same as the, um, what's it called? You know, the, when they started releasing the two disc special edition DVDs of Yu Haka Show. They're basically the same thing except they changed the, um, the cover of it. So, if you buy this, like, if you watch the first DVD, it'll have trailers for anime from like, I don't know, 07 or 08 maybe, so. Um, you know, it's pretty good. I got this for $25, so that's a pretty awesome deal just for like 28 episodes. I think it's because the older the anime gets, the more cheaper it becomes, like how you can get 40 plus episodes of Dragon Ball Z for just like 30 or $40, and, that, and how Naruto, you have to pay like $40 just to get like 12 episodes. It's kind of stupid. I just finished watching the first, not the first disc, I just finished watching episode 4. So, I gotta get to watching the rest of this. I'm gonna be picking up two and three season box sets of this thing because I'm not getting four because I already have the entire collection of four on separate DVDs. So, yeah, pretty good. I definitely recommend you guys buy this. It's so cheap and it's a really awesome anime. One of Funimation's best works, I have to say. The thing I don't like about Funimation is that they always put more of their DVDs in box sets and they change them every single time, which kind of gets on my nerves because, oh, I want to buy this DVD over oh, the box that's coming out. Oh, another box that's coming out. So it's like, I remember the good old days when they released DVDs like this. This is um, the original single DVDs that had like four episodes or so on it. This is um, box um, DVD number two. I got this like, I think a year or two ago. You know, because it was cheap. Best Buy only sold it for five dollars. So that was really cool. Disc is not in here since it's in my um, DVD case. So they released these single DVDs. Then when the season was over, they released. Well, I'm using this as an example because I don't actually own a Yu Hawk Show box set like this. They released it like this, like all the DVDs into one. Like this is Dragon Ball Z, by the way. <laughs> So, you know, you get the idea, like, the entire, like, all these DVDs, like, six or seven would be packed into this thing, and yeah. And then they started releasing this, it's called the, um, two disc special edition DVDs, um, you have two discs here. I don't know where this one went, it's probably, like, near my computer or something. It has, like, 14 episodes on them, so that's pretty good. They were, like, around $23. And then they started releasing these which is, I think is better than all of this stuff combined. So, definitely pick these up. Can't wait for Naruto Shippuden. I think we're getting into the Sasuke vs. Orochimaru thing, I think next week. Actually, no, this coming week, yeah. Um, so, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. We're going to get out of fillers finally. I don't even know what's in their minds. Why do they keep putting us in fillers? They say, oh, it brings up the suspense. Yeah, it brings up the suspense, brings down your ratings. You know, guys, time for another nostalgic moment, you know? 
As I was watching this and I watched the opening and ending, I was like thinking back to like 2003 and all those years back when Anime and Cartoon Network were together. You know, I just miss that. I mean, some of you might know this, like, you remember those days when you'd stay home from school and sometimes you're not really that sick? I mean, we've all done it. We've all done it, you guys. We just stayed home even though we weren't sick. Sometimes you notice that TV is actually better when you stay home, like, the better shows are on, sometimes. And that, that was when I was a little kid. And now, I, the weirdest thing happened, I stayed home from school and then there was literally nothing on TV to watch. I'm serious, like, nothing. I, I thought to myself, wait, maybe I should have gone to school. <laughs> it was so funny. June 12th is rapidly approaching, you guys. Some of you guys might not know this, but it's the day when DTV happens, you know, digital television. Um, when all of the whole, like, analog TVs, I think, like, you know, TVs with antennas are basically you're gonna lose your signal or something. Now, they've already started doing it for some TVs, like, even the normal cable TVs, like, people are losing their channels, um, so that people will buy iOS, Verizon, Fios, all that stuff. Like, I have, um, a normal cable TV, a pretty, it's pretty good TV, and they keep taking out channels, they take, so far taking out 10 channels, and I'm like, wait a minute, what, so they want us to buy, like, five iOS, because I, because we have um, an I.O. upstairs, we have an I.O. downstairs, and then we have just like separate TVs in the bedrooms. And basically, if they cut that all that stuff out, they're going to be losing tons of ratings. Because if people only have one I.O. in their house, they, that's only going to be equal to like one like view. If they're promoting like a movie or something. So that kind of sucks because they already cut out a lot of, not, well, they cut out a lot of the good channels like all the MTV, E, um, ABC Family, all that stuff. So it would st it would suck because a lot of people still have cable, and it makes no sense for them to cut out cable. I mean, seriously. If you have antennas, then okay, but TV in general has just become stupid, you know. Um, I mean, like Cartoon Network, seriously, is just I don't even know what it is. It's so stupid. I mean, like even like all the shows like Total Drama Island, Sixteen, they're kind of all becoming stupid now. Like, at first they were okay, and then, like, now they're putting more retarded shows, they're putting real action shows now, like, some kid surviving in the wild, like a, like a, like a, like a kid version of Survivor or whatever. It's so stupid, and I don't even know where they're going. I mean, they have to bring back anime and all the good cartoons. You know what they should bring back? X-Men Evolution. Oh my god, that was my favorite show on Cartoon Network growing up, you know, because it won two Emmys, and... I don't even know why they just pulled it off the air. It doesn't matter if the show is like 10 years old or 9 years old. They just, Cartoon Network wants the newest stuff. But the newest stuff is the retarded stuff because that's all the creators can think of. So if they bring back anime, if they bring back all the good shows, Ed and Eddie, X-Men, Evolution, um, all the good animes. I mean, seriously, Adult Swim is, they're only dedicating like a few hours to anime on Saturdays, which is not enough. I mean, if they brought back anime and all the good shows, guaranteed the ratings would shoot up. I'm serious. It would shoot up if they brought back. I mean, seriously, bring back Toonami. If you bring back like all the um good shows, I mean like if you Hawk shows on like at 10 p.m. at night, I'd be okay with that. If it was like it doesn't even matter since it's kind of a violent show, but whatever. Back then it was a violent show and they barely censored it. One of the stupidest things happened. You know, I'm just getting really fed up with Disney. They're doing such stupid things. Like, there's this new Miyazaki movie coming out this summer. I forgot what its name is, but I was just like, I looked at the cast and like, at first I was like, oh cool, this cast is cool because it has Matt Damon, Tina Fey, Liam Neeson, you know, pretty good actors. And then they had Noah Cyrus and Frankie Jonas. You know, Disney's just becoming so retarded with all this stuff. They want to promote, oh, let's promote the, the siblings of our famous stars, Miley Cyrus and the Jonas Brothers. Now, no offense to the Jonas Brothers, but why would they even, like, want to put their siblings in the shows? It's so stupid. I mean, seriously. It makes no sense. They're only becoming famous because of their older brothers, so it makes no sense. And, like, the movie Camp Rock 2 that's coming out, I don't know when, it says, with a special appearance by Frankie Jonas. What's so special about it? I mean, seriously, he's not a star or anything. I mean, if they just put back the good old shows, Cartoon Hour, it'd be a better channel. It wouldn't be so retarded. Like, it's so stupid. And now, like, people are gonna... 
Cartoon Network's gonna be thinking, oh, it doesn't matter if these people are putting up protests or whatever. I mean, seriously, they, they should know that their, con their channel's gonna die. It was one of the biggest channels, but now it's just crap. I don't even know what they're thinking. They just... I don't know, they just... I mean, what's going on in those creators' heads or those big executive heads or whatever? I don't even know what they're doing. So stupid. You have to listen to the fans. You don't, like, make decisions on your own. I mean, come on. So comes the end of Vlog 16, you guys. You know, I was kind of ranting a bit in it, but, you know, I had to rant because Cartoon Network's so retarded now. Because, you know, just can't explain it. They started dying in, like, late 2000... No, early 2008, I want to say. So, this is Neo Gamespark, guys. Signing off from Vlog 16. You know, see you later.